Hey guys, uh, just a uh, little demonstration video of the um, software that is uh, comes with your uh, FlashForge uh, Dreamer printer. Um, I ordered the printer a little while ago, um, but FlashForge uh, allows you to download the uh, the program, which is pretty cool. Before you get the printer or whatnot, so I guess if uh, you wanted to play around. So we got normal stuff up here, uh, examples, there's a couple things that are, uh, that you can print right out of the gate, that, um, normal edit, stuff like that, you can select all, duplicate, delete, normal with shortcuts, I guess, uh, to connect your machine and whatnot, uh, the Dreamer printer has Wi-Fi, so no need for cables. It also has an SD slot. So we got USB, Wi-Fi. So I guess once I get that, um, I can set that all up. A couple different views. You can top view, home view. Mouse wheel scrolls in and out. Right click is your uh, your drag, and left click is just to grab and move so it's pretty uh, pretty default stuff that uh, any programs usually have when you can do 3d visuals uh, you can see you got your x y and z planes this represents your printing area so anything you put in here would um, represent uh, what's going to be printed. If you go outside it gives you a uh, change of colors, but we'll get to that. A couple different, uh, so not connected yet, so. And your help menu. Uh, up top we have load, we have print, we'll get to that. And our view, so just like in the, uh, the view menu. And whatnot, so you go front view. You reset and go back to home. Set position, so I don't have uh, don't have anything in there. Rotate. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So we'll um, we'll get something in there. So we'll load, and I'm going to actually. examples yeah so I have a 20 millimeter box we got a here Hubert Hilbert Q so a cube there's um, these two fit together basically so as you can see and we'll put B there so the the printer the printer is a has a dual extruder so you could print one black one white if you like I guess and you can have the left extruder printing PLA and you could have the other one printing that other uh, material which I forget now the, the the one that's not the greatest but anyways <laughs> look at it shows you here uh, ABS yeah so we'll just close that out but yeah it just shows you um, so you can uh, Oops. So we can we can move it around and whatnot, but uh, you would need to uh, select it all. So we're on our rotate, like I was showing here, but we'll start up top. So it's the same thing. We got those top views and whatnot. Move. You have to select it. And, uh, oops, I forgot. See, because these are two parts, so you can reset. So if you do bring it over, you just go, and it'll put it back. And if you go off the platform, so we're just going to go Control-A. So we've selected all. And now we can move it. So if you go off the platform, yeah, it just gives you a warning. So basically... If you put that there and try to print, you're gonna 
you're going to waste some material and some of your time. So it just shows you when you're off the platform bed. Like that. So if you want it to duplicate a couple, you can put it in the center. Or reset, same thing. And so if you go off, you can go on platform. I thought it would. But usually if you have something that's a little bit bigger, it'll actually your it'll say that your um, your model is off the platform. Would you like to put it there or whatnot? So but I think if uh if I go rotate, I'll just spin that and now you can see the bottom. The bottom part would be uh not printable so yeah if you're below that you hit on on platform and it'll put it on for you but you don't want that so I'm just gonna reset it Ooh, forgot to <laughs> there we go And we have scale for a different size. So if you want to check that uniform scaling, inches, millimeter, maximum. So well, you don't want that. So you basically uh, you'd come in. So if you want, if you want a half the size, obviously you you could put 50. And make it uh, half the size uh, extruder so this is where this is where one sec here now it's strange okay here we go won't you move it it's not it's, it's not um, if you select all move it be prepared if you go to move it again you have a couple joined together you're going to have to select all again so you just go reset and what's going on here now this is new to me too I only got this last night so reset reset okay all right, so I forget where I was. Extruder. Yeah, so if you have uh, your left extruder with black and your right with, uh, say, white, you can uh, you can choose how you want. If you want your right extruder to print and your left extruder to print that. So if you want it the inside to use left, and the, say the outside to use there, you can flip it around like that. So you can pick your colors for what, whatever one you want. So we're just going to go up to the print. Now for the slice, there's a couple, as I was saying, showing you a little bit earlier. We have ABS and PLA. So the, the Dreamer they give you two spools of uh, filament one is ABS and one is PLA so you could uh, you set that up as as you would have it set up in your uh, printer because the spools are on the left and right supports I need to I haven't really uh, looked into it but uh, I think it's for like overhangs and stuff after watching a few videos so left and right extruder extruder excuder a skirt I think that's um, skirt I think is I'm not sure because every model you'll see they, they it prints uh, a little boundary just one uh, around your whole model so I don't know the difference between a wall or a skirt or even if that is what it is so layers your your layer height so it goes up 0.4 and 
slow down, but I think that might be a little bit too, uh, you can go just reset the defaults. I haven't played with much number of shells. Uh, your first layer height, usually you want your layer, the, usually on the base, a little bit thicker, so I guess this is default at 30, and then any one after will be 0.2 microns. Uh, infill. So basically, 25% of this would be fill, 75% would be air, if you want to look at it like that. Um, so basically, 100% would be solid. And the pattern of infill, you can have line, rectangle, or hexagon. And I'll show you that now in a second. Sprint print speed, so that's uh, millimeters per second. Travel speed. So I think from watching a couple of videos, this might be its default, but I think you can bump it up a little bit. Temperature. So different uh, different materials use different temperatures and whatnot. So play with it a little bit there. Enable fan cooling because there's two fans. The fans for the extruders. So basically, it's coming out pretty hot, just like a glue gun, and the fans help it set as it's as it's uh, working just to uh, keep it from like deforming I guess because if it stays nice and hot print when slicer is done so yeah it's just a rundown of some of the options you go OK now basically it gives you uh, to slice it you would just uh, save it it already exists because I did it before earlier today and you see down here it slices it for you, and on your left, we'll get a uh, we'll get a little um, showing. There's 149 layers, and then your top right. So it looks like it's going to take two hours and 50 minutes. 4.37 meters estimated material. Okay, it's left and right. Okay, so because there's two different, uh, yeah, left and right. So yeah, PLL and uh, the other one. I can never remember the name of that other stuff. <laughs> or PLA. So anyways, this is the little boundary uh, box I was saying. It just prints that first, and I guess it's... I don't know if it's just to get a little bit of uh, material going, flowing. So you can see there's 149 layers, so if we come down, and you can see because the, the infill on this is pretty thick, you can see as we get down, so if this was 100, they'd be pretty much solid, so depending on what you're using or what you're printing, you can uh, set that up if you want something more durable, more solid. Basically, yeah, it uh, gives you a, a layer per layer. So if I have my printer here now, I could set print, and well, it's not connected. So, and with the Wi-Fi, it could be you could be anywhere in the house, and uh, it would print. So, anyways, guys, I just figured I'd do a little rundown view of a uh, little rundown and a view of the uh, the flash print that. Uh, for the 3D printer that I got coming. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully I can get that printer next week. Since the holidays and everything, I'm not sure. So we'll see. It's coming FedEx, so from Asia. Hopefully I can get it. Maybe he'll show up Christmas Day. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, as always, appreciate you watching, and don't forget to hit that like button. See you later. Merry Christmas.